Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 Draft Champions game showing some of the draft before the game and the first round kicks off with three great defensive legends. I thought about taking Curse right there but I just love getting a middle linebacker to control the run and the pass and Nishki definitely fits the bill. Round two, three stud elites. Bennett's got a crazy good card this year. I love me some Earl Thomas and Madden, but Darius Slay had to take him in his 90 speed. I personally value cornerbacks a lot this year, especially with the swap mechanics, so I ended up taking Slay, and I value cornerbacks so much, and I'm thinking about getting Jonathan Joseph, even though he's the lowest overall player. But at the end of the day, I couldn't pass up on another elite free safety, so we take Malcolm Jenkins. We'll hope we can get a second cornerback later on in the draft. And by the way, I'm not taking the elite offense alignment, man. I'm getting myself a stud wide receiver in Emmanuel Sanders as we hit round five. This is a no-brainer. Cam Chancellor is going to be laying big hits on our team. We skipped the round 12, had some dull rounds in between, but this round was definitely not. We already have two middle linebackers, so Collins is off the board, but we don't have a running back at all. But then again, we could get ourselves an elite pass rusher in Khalil Mack with his 84 speed. End of the day, my decision was made because of the playbook I took. Chip Kelly's playbook has pretty much all shotgun, and I don't feel comfortable running out of shotgun in this year's game. So, I'm like, you know what? Let's just bolster up our defense. Let's get Mack and maybe pass on Freeman. Maybe we'll get someone else later down the road. That's round 13. The Honey Badger is on the board. But we already have two elite safeties. This is going to hurt, but I think Allen Robinson is the choice right here. Definitely not a bad consolation prize. Him and Emmanuel Sanders is the one-two duo in round 14. It's like we're getting every elite safety, every great safety out here. You can only take two of them, man. So at the end of the day, we take Mokamari basically because our roster dictated that decision. Round 15, we can use any of these three players. Our offensive line doesn't really have anyone. Aaron Brooks could complete our linebacking core, but we have no one on the defensive line. So I'm going to take Benny Logan, try to get at least one guy to stop the run. As you guys see my opponent's top players, this guy had a crazy good offense flashback to Marco Murray Herman Moore was his legend he had Andrew Luck as his quarterback AJ Green you guys saw Jeremy Macklin he also had Zach Ertz just so many weapons to throw the ball to and then Andrew Luck just leaves the pocket himself on top of all of that so I guess at the end of the day the fact that we went heavy on defense in this draft might pay off in this game because we definitely need a good one to contain Murray in the run game and then all of these weapons in the passing game is see third down and three comes out passing but cam chancellor rocks earth's back we're bringing up a fourth down and short he's passing with luck and nitschke that middle linebacker i told you guys controlling the middle of the field that's exactly why he was picked now Jameis winston is our quarterback 78 overall Jameis. we drafted him we'll see what he could do and this play is going to be in almost disaster accidentally hit the wrong button right there i meant to throw it to the running back who was like a foot away from me just let him get the first down thankfully it doesn't bite us in the butt because it wasn't intercepted and then the next play punches gets the first down anyways and now winston back to passing but for some reason marcel reese goes back where we drafted reese he's a fullback but we put him at the tight end spot for the most part as you guys see that's jaquiz rogers our running back right there and he's not going to get too much going because he's like what a 72 overall and i try to squeeze one into our money man Allen Robinson, but that was incomplete. Good play by the secondary, and we settle for the field goal. 43-yarder right down the middle. Good play. I mean, our defense set us up with that field position, so I don't mind taking a field goal to kick the game off and then, you know, just rely on our defense, see what they could do. As you see, we did a nice swap right there. Next play, he throws it in the middle, and that's David Harris with the interception. Defense looking good. Those middle linebackers playing in the middle of the field well. Hitting the outside. Emmanuel Sanders on the out route. Next play. Looking for the wide receiver screen, but nothing is open. So we're just going to smartly throw this one away with Jameis Winston. You guys see, we're pass heavy right now. Chip Kelly's offense doesn't exactly call for passing every single time. They definitely run the ball a lot. But right now, we don't have many options. Though we did find Rodgers in the end zone. Actually, I'm not even sure. I might have been the backup running back. We already have like a silver running back. I might have been the backup running back that caught our touchdown right there. And we're up 10 0 early on in this one. As you guys see, Ertz get the catch. And he's got a lot of great like routes being run right here. You guys see all these throws downfield. He finds someone open. Recovering them, recovering them nicely, but it's only a matter of time before he figures us out. And I think this might be the drive. That was Macklin on the outside with the catch to the 35-yard line. Next play. Look at all these combinations. 
and Herman Moore connects on that one and just like that he's at the 14 yard line putting together a great drive after giving up the first 10 points of the game to us you see Andrew Luck with all the time had Macklin but Macklin dropped the pass bringing up third down and 10 with the two minute warning that's caught but it's not going to be a first down and he's Barely makes the field goal right there. He didn't line it up, but thankfully for him, it ended up going through the uprights. Anyways, as we throw an interception for the second time, hit the wrong button, confusing the running back button, whether it's RB or Y. There's just so many formations. That's my excuse, man. This Chip Kelly playbook has so many damn formations, and uh, definitely hit the wrong button right there. And it cost us because we gave him great field position. Our defense is playing well. They held up for a field goal last time, got two stops before, but in this situation, he gets a short field and he converts on that third down to Herman Moore. 45 seconds left. DeMarco's going nowhere. DeMarco's been pretty silent so far. It's going to have to be Andrew Luck, but he cannot co connect with AJ Green. We're using that swap button beautifully right now. And on third down, the ball's on the ground. And picked up by him. We had a clear shot at the recovery, but um, one of our fat dudes just literally ran past the ball, pretending like he picked it up and tried to take it for a touchdown, except, you know, never had the ball, buddy. So, he gets a field goal out of that. Would have been really nice to pick that up. Obviously, it would have been pretty lucky if we picked it up, so it's not really a big deal, but nonetheless, we start the third quarter with ball, but just give it right away. Overthrown by Jameis Winston and picked off by Brandon Flowers. That hurt right there, because Oh, he's going deep on the next play for Herman Moore, but it's swatted away. Yeah, that just hurt because I felt like we could control the game a little bit, and our offense is struggling right now. We're going to need our defense to bail us out one more time. Unfortunately, he's already in field goal range, but he hasn't scored a touchdown yet this game, and you know that's in the back of his mind as he gets closer to the red zone. He's starting to struggle a little bit to find something open. Andrew Luck, he's got all the time in the world to survey, but who is open? No one. Look at Nishki swat that ball away, number 66. Third down, dump down. Cam Chancellor's not going to let you break that tackle. And for the third time in this game, he's kicking it. He's made all three of them, but that's not giving him the lead. Our one touchdown is trumping everything he's done. It feels like he's been more successful in offense. Look at how bad we are, but... Um, that was just, he's not able to convert these touchdowns and it's hurting him. It's nice that he's, you know, taking his points instead of going for it on fourth down every single time. It's Allen Robinson gets a great catch in the middle field right there, but at a certain point, if you can't convert, you're probably not going to win as Jameis gets brought down once again. Try to throw that one away, but Bruce Irvin brings him down. Second down and long. That's a nice catch right there to make it a third down and manageable. Third down and five. This is something we can definitely work with. Looking, throwing for Reese, but it's swatted out of his hands and double, maybe triple coverage fourth down near midfield going for it looking for the comeback oh but instead we might have sparked the comeback for our opponent that's a turnover on downs and that is offsides and that's going to negate that cam chancellor big hit instead first down in five i went away with what was working for us so well just you know playing good defense instead i tried to take over my offense made a bad read and now here he is a field goal can give him the lead that's all he's been kicking that's all he needs but he throws it away to nitschke one more time he makes a Big time play for us, and that saved us from giving up the lead as we head to the start of fourth quarter, running it with Rodgers, but we haven't had much of a run game. Neither of us have been running the ball successfully. We gotta put together a drive at some point in this game. Now might be that time. Robinson upfield all the way to the 33 yard line. You see Winston's inconsistent stat line. Rodgers is subpar stat line. Second down, looking for punches and punches, battling, trying to get the first. You see that clock tick down is becoming a factor this is a big third down right here Reese caught it but not for the first down this is gonna take us to the two minute warning and a huge decision right here do we go for it or do we make it a touchdown lead fourth down and inches I'm thinking let's go for it and after seeing what he came out and just now we call a timeout and we call play action that's Humano on a Nui breaking tackles for the touchdown and the PAT is gonna make it an eight point game a very, very ballsy decision right there paid off. Thinking he would send the blitz on fourth and inches. Could have easily backfired. Instead, we got ourselves a lead. And now it's time for our defense to come through one more time. Is that too much to ask against this high-powered offense? 
Maybe not, because Murray goes backward right there. Big third down and 12. Luck's got to come for, obviously, four down territory. But he won't need four, because Herman Moore catches it right there. Minute left in the game. Luck looking the pass. Here comes the pass rush, and he just got to throw that one away. He still has all three of his timeouts, but he needs a touchdown and a two-point conversion to get back in this one. Looking downfield. No one's open. He's rolling. But then he sees wide open the Marco Murray. And Murray to the 25. Five yard line that changes everything now he's knocking on the door lock one more time looking to pass and so broken up Darius Slay just body slammed AJ Green to the ground 30 seconds left lock time throwing end zone again oh body slammed again I believe that was Herman Moore that got decked to the ground now third down time's running out he throws it in the flats to Ertz who's fighting but won't get the first down he calls a timeout he needed to call a timeout now fourth down game on the line if he doesn't convert luck looking to throw again and it is not caught Herman Moore had it but it's swatted away by the linebacker and that is going to do it here, a couple of drops do him in, including fourth down. Looked like Herman Moore was going to come down with it, but at the last second, someone knocked that ball away. I believe Sam Ocho was the hero of this game for us, and he frustratingly raged quits. Can't blame him for that one, because that was a pretty decent read. His dude just didn't come down with it. Nonetheless, we get our win. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Good game to my opponent. Subscribe for more Man 17 Draft Champions, whatever you want to see from Man 17, and I'll catch you guys next time.